know, a horse that's free and wild. Down in the Big Bend country, land of cactus and cowboys, roams a fearless wild stallion known to everyone around as the Golden Palomino. The riders of the Bee Barbie Ranch have tried and tried to capture him, but he always escapes them. As he gallops away, he seems to laugh at them. <laughs> now on the Bee Barbie lives young Bobby Benson, who secretly loves the Golden Palomino and wishes they were friends. But Tex Mason, the two-gun foreman, says... Bobby boy, stop dreaming. He can't be caught and he can't be broken. Well, there must be some way to win him over, Tex. Oh, uh, Windy Wales could capture him. You could, Windy? Well, how? Well, sir, I'd dress myself up like a little pony and then coax him to me and then grab him. Oh, Windman, how you make Palomino think you be pony? Why, Harker, I'll just sleep out in the rain some night and catch a cold, and the next morning when I wake up, I'll be a little horse. <laughs> He always does it, he never fails. He tells such stories and he tells such tales. No wonder they call him Windy. Wales thinks he could catch the Palomino. Huh? <laughs> well, just the same, Riders. I'll keep hoping that he will be. My amigo. Amigo? That means friend. Hardly a good name for a wild stallion. Well, you can win anything with friendship, Tex. And I bet the Golden Palomino needs a friend. Amigo, amigo, I offer my friendship, amigo. Meanwhile, across the broad valley of the B-Bar-B, not far from the towering canyons, a huge bearded man sits alone in a ramshackle hut. His hawk eyes are intent as he carefully cleans his gun. He raises the sight to his eyes and aims toward the canyon. <laughs> Reckon they don't call me Hank the Horse Thief for nothing. I can crease any critter with this here rifle, including the wild Palomino. Come dawn tomorrow, I'm going out after that ornery bronc. I'm either going to rope him and tame him, or by gum, I'll kill him. That night, Bobby Benson tosses and turns in his bunk. In his dreams, he sees the great wild stallion. Amigo, can't we be friends? Look, just think of all the things we could do. Together. Ride the range. Rope the steers. Win the big race at the rodeo. Oh, golly, Amigo, you could be famous. I can see you in the great circus arena. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing the wonderful Golden Palomino, Amigo, the friendly wild horse. As daylight appears in the bunkhouse window, Bobby quickly dresses in his cowboy clothes and makes ready to hit the trail. He knows now he must find the golden palomino. But suddenly, the bunkhouse door opens. It was Tex. Where are you riding so early, little boss? I'm going to find the golden palomino, Tex. Oh, Bobby, he's a wild critter. If you ever get close to him, he'll trample you to death. Well, I've got to speak to him, Tex. He's wild, I tell you. He won't understand. He needs a friend. I know it. Bobby, don't ride after oh, him. Oh, let me go, Tex. I've got to go after oh, Bobby, him. Bobby, don't. Bobby, come back. Come back. Harker, yeah. Wendy, round up the b bar riders. We're taking out after Bobby. b bar b Now Harker, the deep-voiced Indian tracker, had taught Bobby how to pick up a trail. Tingling with excitement, Bobby gallops at breakneck speed toward the narrow pass, the only entrance to the Box Canyon. Is the Golden Stallion there? Yes, he is. But Hank, the horse thief, knew he was there, too. High on the ridge of the canyon, he looks down on his prey. Ah, there you are. A perfect target. Just waiting to be stunned with one shot. Now, keep your head that way, Golden Palomino. Let me get a good aim on you. Slowly, the long barrel of the rifle is sighted on the wild stallion, just as Bobby Benson reaches the narrow pass. In a flash, he sees what's about to happen. Amigo! As he speaks, the shot rings out. <laughs> But it misses, and the silvery mane of the Palomino flashes as he rears up in a wild frenzy and gallops toward the pass, the narrow pass where Bobby Benson stands alone. 
his eyes ablaze, the horse dashes headlong over the sharp rocks and boulders of the canyon floor. In another second, he'll be on top of Bobby and trample him down. Then, without any warning, the giant horse rears high and comes crashing to the ground. His hoof is pinned beneath a boulder. Now the golden palomino is an easy target. This time, the horse thief cannot miss. Desperately, Bobby races toward the stallion. Amigo! Amigo! Now Bobby stands between the threshing steed and the man with a gun who cannot fire for fear of hitting Bobby. Amigo! Amigo! As Bobby comes closer, the animal slowly stops struggling. A look comes into his eyes that tells Bobby the wild horse will trust him. Amigo! Amigo, hold still. Let me move the boulder and free your foot. Please, Amigo, please. It's moving, Amigo. It's moving. As the rock suddenly releases the giant horse, the Palomino heaves himself quickly to his feet, and throwing his silvery mane in the air, he dashes back into the box canyon to freedom. Freedom? He is still a prisoner. He can escape only through the narrow pass. Now Bobby seeks to protect his friend from Hank the horse thief. He follows him deeper and deeper into the canyon, and the bearded man, watching from the high ridge, shakes his fist angrily. Well, the kid cowboy saved you this time, wild horse, but I'll get you another day. As Bobby clambers over the rocks, his eyes intent on the wild horse, he calls to him. Amigo! Amigo! But he fails to see a new enemy, a mountain lion. Defenseless, the young cowboy turns to face the creature set to spring on him from a boulder above. Frozen to the spot, Bobby knows his danger and realizes he's helpless. He can't run. He has no weapon of defense. And any second, the beast will spring. Then suddenly comes a thundering of hooves and the shrill cry of the wild stallion. And just as the lion springs toward Bobby, the iron hooves of the giant animal crash down and the lion lies still. Amigo, Amigo, you saved my life, Amigo, and you're not frightened anymore. You want to be friends. Amigo, oh, Amigo. So it's true as it's always been, when friendship and kindness live within, kindness and friendship always win. And the young cowboy climbs on Amigo's back. And together they ride out of the canyon to the broad green valley to join the riders of the B Bar B. Amigo, amigo, I offer my friendship, amigo. Never lonely the trail where we go, amigo, my friend. 